traffic for miles and miles. Great. Hello everyone, welcome to another magnificent Monday in Manchester where it's raining again. Surprise, surprise. Well, today we're going to do the garage, like I said. Um, a little garage consumer unit on, a couple of sockets, and three lights. That's pretty much it. I want to feed to the garage door. There's the garage there, you can just see the camera just through there. Pretty dark in there at the moment, so I'm going to get the temporary lights out there and um, get it all illuminated, get the garage door open and uh, we'll go from there, okay? Somewhere under here, there they are. They don't usually get used that often, but on a day like today we're going to need them. If so I can get them out. Come on. There we go, a bit of light in the garage, so let's see what we can show you now. Electric door, so there's going to be a feed up there for the electric door, just a fuse connection unit. Um, a 180 sensor there that's going to be turning the lights on, so that as soon as you come through that door, this door, or this door, the lights will come on. Speaking of the lights, here they are, just batting LEDs. One, two, three on the ceiling. I turn the lights round and show you this wall. This is where the consumer unit's going, little garage consumer unit. Just like a little two or three way for lights and sockets. There's gonna be a socket down here. And I think there's another X somewhere. Where there'll be a socket. I'm sure there was two sockets going in here. Oh, here's the garage consumer unit on your little thing. Um, here we go. So basically, here's the MCBs and an RCD. We're going to change the RCD just to a normal double pole isolator because we don't need RCD protection within it. We already have it. On the other end of this circuit, at the main board, be a 40 amp MCB backed up by a 30 milliamp RCD. Now, the MCBs that are in there at the moment, there's a 32 and a 6. Take that 32 out, change that for a 20. It's just a radial circuit in here. Leave the six and put a blank in there. And that'll be going just, just there. Again, that's just for these two sockets. Three lights. And just a bit of a power point up there for the, for the garage door. A lot of people don't like feeding. I'm not overly keen on them either. But for what we need it for in here, it's more than adequate. Again, we're going to change the RCD out. Get rid of that and just put a double pole isolator in there. So already RCD protected at the source. And yeah, it's, it's completely fine. We're packing it off the wall with some 22mm plastic speed fit pipe. That'll just hang off the wall like that. Right, let's get it on.
I'm going to leave that the way it is for the moment. Run the other circuits, the socket and the lights. Bring them down. Uh, put a double pole isolator in there. And um, like a main switch, you know, like a double pole main switch. You guys know what I mean. Change this MCV for 20. And then. So the board's on there now. Next thing I'm going to do is start running these sockets. Um, just these metal clad ones. Um, one thing about working in a bit of a dark garage is you can see the laser level pretty clearly. So you can see there I'm just metal clad box. Socket's going to go on there. And then you know the script. That up there. That'll look nice in here. One over there, one here. One light switch, a sensor, and a fuse burr. So here we are now, I'm just going to second fix this face plate. Remembering obviously to keep the CPC continuous. Earth the back box. So I'm going to strip it back and not cut the CPC. Let's see what I mean. Yeah, the brown is actually called the line. Everyone calls it live though. And everyone knows what you mean when you call it live. And the proper term is line. So, we've got the line and neutral going in there. And then we'll deal with the CPC. bend so that when you push the face plate on you're not forcing too much against the uh, against them so what I'm gonna do here now I'm gonna drop the screwdriver that always happens put the sleeve in there Pinch it there, fold it back, plant it down, a bit more air sleeve in there, Fold the ends over. Now on the grub screw at the back, you can get this bend in there. That's where you can earth the back box. Remember, like I say, it's all continuous not broken CPC. The ends are bent over.
Done. The board's all on now. We're going to stick with the RCD because basically I haven't got a, an isolator in the van, which means going out and getting one. So what we're doing right now. Um, same with the MCB. We're going to keep it 16 mil, uh, and I'll bring when I get a new isolator. I'll bring a 20 amp BG MCB for the sockets. So these are all in now. It's all second fixed as such. Got a bit of testing to do, but um, yeah, this is it. Left that 32 amp in on the left, just so that it makes, you know, it fills the hole a bit better than a blank plate. Looks a little bit better, I suppose, as well. Also notice I've put some galv band on the cables. Just here and especially over this doorway. And then obviously all the conduit. It's gonna have metal clips on it. You can see here and here. Right, I'm gonna crack on with the lights now. Just start getting the switch in for it there. It's going to come over here to the sensor, and then the sensor is going to turn all these on when you come through the doors. Lights are all on now. Well, not on, but second fix. So you can see it goes from the board along to the switch, back up across to the sensor, and then along to the backlight, the middle light. In this light connected bulb to bulb and we do a little bit of testing and then we're going to go and power up get this board on do a bit more testing and then that'll do customer doesn't know what it's doing with this wall just yet might be boarding it plasterboarding it or anything um, cupboards or something as well going on there so that's why we've kind of kept the cables kind of flush and flat. Okay. Hopefully now we can get rid of that tripod light from the, from the, the roof space. Although it is quite a nice light. I am sick to death of getting poked in the eye. Lights are all on now, nice and bright. Not even any flickering. Now I'm just getting this door controller wired up. It's a remote door but it's also got a, a button on the top of it. And then uh, that's us. Alright guys we're nearly done here. So you can see all the sockets are in now. Board, light switch, socket, feed for the door, sensor for the lights. The door. It's also a remote control, so this is just a manual way of doing it. Oh, 
alright. No point showing all the street off. So the garage uh, fuse connection unit is going to go there. Um, it just dawned on me, wouldn't it be great if electricians really were magic? See? Magic. Alright guys, we're done here now. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to leave a comment below, can do. And if you wanted to subscribe, press the notification button, whatever it is, on your device, I'd appreciate that. Thanks again, guys. Oh, and there goes the sensor, right on time.